According to the National Golf Federation, participation in golf is growing, and that's why we have registered dietitian and founder of Confident Health, Pat Baird, here to give us a few tips, as well as Anna Rush, who is a golf expert, giving us tips on how to improve your game. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you. It's great to be here. Of course. So um, you say what you eat can really improve your golf game. It how can. is that? It can because, you know, golfers are known for spending top dollar for putters and clubs and, and the best balls. And what they really need is physical energy, focus and concentration, flexibility, uh, lack of pain from arthritis and lack of muscular pain, what we often call inflammation. And they don't realize how critical nutrition and fitness and flexibility can be. And that's why I developed Confident Golf, is to give players at every level the edge they need. So I just want to talk about two quick things today. First of all, it's very important to maintain steady blood glucose levels. Mm. All right, it sounds technical. Glucose is the primary form of energy in the body, whether it's muscles, nerves, tissues, cells. The brain depends on glucose. So don't skip breakfast if you're going to play. Do not skip breakfast. Be sure that you have well-planned snacks, and I'll tell you about that in a minute, to maintain those steady blood glucose levels. You'll have that focus and concentration that you need to make your shot. You'll have the physical energy, and some foods reduce inflammation. Second thing is, Avoid added sugar. Added sugar spikes blood glucose levels, and what that does is though it gives us a quick rush of energy, yeah. okay, it really leaves us zapped. And it creates inflammation because these steady spikes actually damage arteries and cells and create inflammation. Some good tips there. Yes. Beware of bars. Okay. Okay? And they're often loaded with sugar. Bring things like tuna or fruits like pears and apples that have a lower glycemic index, even a handful of peanuts or almonds. Some great advice there. And Anna, is this what you eat in the morning? And Absolutely. Yeah. What's, I'm what a fanatic for nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be, right? Yes. Um, so what can people do to try and improve their golf game this spring? So this is a perfect kind of timely segment. We're right in the middle of Masters weekend. So it's kind of often seen as the unofficial kind of start of the golf season, especially in the Northeast. Everyone's kind of chomping at the bit to get out there. So I would say this weekend, when you're looking at the tour player, pay attention to their impact positions because that's very different from an amateur golfer. I'll give you a demonstration. So in the gym, you can do this with a medicine ball. So as you kind of wind up towards the top of your backswing, kind of work your way down towards impact. So the tour player will have pressure on their left leg, their pelvis is rotated left, rib cage is rotated left, right arm kind of tucked in front of their body. That's a really good position for an impact player. And then they'll kind of release the medicine ball. Amateurs do the complete opposite. They'll just kind of stand up, much less body rotation, right arm breaks away from their body. So the impact position of a tour player versus an amateur, very, very different. So. So rehearse this in the gym. Kind of step it down. When you get to here, then let the medicine ball release against the wall or against a plier back or a mini tramp. So if you can improve your impact position, you will hit the ball a little bit further. I know a lot of folks are ready to hit the links after watching the Masters and Travelers is coming up. Thank you so much for being here this morning, sure. Ana and Pat. Good to see you again.